Well, good morning, kids. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Another beautiful day, isn't it? Kind of almost odd for this time of October. Hey, uh, I know we've been talking a lot about corgis lately. And, yeah, I own a corgi, and I've had them for a long time. So it's easy for me to talk about them. But I want to talk about them one more time today to use them kind of as an illustration for what I've been working on studying with your parents and your grandparents. And Well, let me show you first a little video about corgis. I mean, a lot of people think corgis are now these wonderful, amazing, perfect dogs. And I can tell you that, well, corgis have some struggles. Now, on top of all this, let me tell you that corgis shed all the time. They're almost impossible to train. They bark constantly, and they seem to get into a lot of stuff. Uh, and they have very high energy. Now, in spite of all that, I do love my corgi. Uh, and I have for all of the corgis I've had. But what I've discovered is a lot of people in the world suddenly think corgis are the greatest dogs. And interestingly enough, a lot of people really want to own one now. A decision I think many of them will come to regret. But you know why that is? Because, well, one person let the world know that corgis are royalty. Yes, that was the Queen of England, who was a little girl, got a corgi, and fell absolutely in love with them. And throughout her entire reign, had a whole series of corgis that would live there in the palace with her. Kind of had a special room just for them. She would take them places. They had special people to help take care of them. And corgis were just sort of all of a sudden seen as this royal dog. And not because of anything they did. Um, not because they were any better than any other dog. But because they were chosen to be the royal dog by the queen. Now we've been studying through uh, a letter in the Bible written by the Apostle Peter. And one of the things he tells us is that we, too, were chosen by the king to be a part of his royal family. And we're told that we're part of a royal priesthood. That God has chosen us to build uh, like a building into the temple that we are a part of because we are loved by Jesus Christ. It's not because we're good, not because we're great, not because we're smarter than anybody else. Because God chose us, and because we were chosen by the king, and in this case, it's not just the king of England, it's the king of all the universe and everything beyond it, well, that makes us pretty special. So I just want to tell you that if you think corgis are cool, well, those who were chosen by the real king, the true king, the high king, are even cooler, not because of anything we did or anything we deserve, but because we're loved. And we've been chosen by God. So remember that next time you start to think that, you know, there's something wrong with you. Or you're not very good. Or you wish you were somebody else. You know, you're a child of the king. Uh, chosen by him to be adopted. Uh, to become royalty. And that's about as cool as it gets. So take care, child of the king. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye.